are you looking for like a reset your whatsapp true step verification without an email if yes they are watching the right video hey what's up guys it's mike Nikki here and welcome to my youtube channel smart tips in today's video like i said i'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to reset your whatsapp true step verification process without an email you know there are times after putting in the true step verification on your whatsapp you know to ensure security yes because you know putting in this two step verification process it makes your whatsapp you know more secure from scammers or people that want to you know hack your whatsapp and when you do this you need a whatsapp is safe so let's say for example you change a new device you get a new device and you want to log into whatsapp you want to you know, log into your existing account on whatsapp definitely whatsapp is going to ask you for that your two step verification code yes the password you used and if you've forgotten the code and you want to reset it but you didn't put an email on your device how are you going to do it and you might be so frustrating that you don't even know how to go about it but relax guys because in my video right now i will show you those steps you need to take to reset this whatsapp two step verification even though you didn't put an email so if you love this information about you can me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel you're welcome on my channel here i give you videos on how you can solve your social media problem today i'm giving this video on how to reset your whatsapp two step verification without an email problem so all you need to do is click on the subscribe button below and also turn on the notification icon so whenever i create more videos like this you'll be the first to get notified and trust me guys i've got trouble of videos like this you want to miss out so let's jump on to how to reset your whatsapp two-step verification without an email so guys if you've forgotten you know your whatsapp two-step verification code which you are going to use to log in your accounts what you need to do is to go to your browser Go to your browser, whatever browser you're using, Chrome, Safari, you know, Opera Mini, I don't know at all you're using. And once you're here now, we want to message WhatsApp. You see, you search on WhatsApp supports. WhatsApp supports. Okay. WhatsApp supports. Click on it. Okay, so once you're here, you see contact WhatsApp. All right, click on contact WhatsApp. Then currently, we are in this page over here. So which WhatsApp are we using? Is it the normal WhatsApp or the business WhatsApp? If it's normal WhatsApp, click on this contact us over here. If it's the business WhatsApp, click on contact us over here. However, some, some people might you know, go straight to the website using this web whatsapp.com. Web.whatsapp.com, can you see it? If you use it, all you need to do is to still come here. Click on this three slash over here. Go to help center. Scroll down. Go to contact us. Can you see it still brought us to the same page? So once you're here, you choose either the business WhatsApp or the or normal WhatsApp person there. I use the normal WhatsApp, so what I need is click on contact us. And then once I'm here, I'm going to fill in my details. Yes. So I'll put in my number. The number I'm going to put is the affected number. The number I'm using for WhatsApp. That main number you put it here, your country code. Now you put in your email address because they are contacting WhatsApp, so they are going to get back to you within 24 to 48 hours to know if they're going to so they can help you resolve the problem you are facing yes so now how do you use whatsapp is it an android iphone web and desktop ios or others select the device you use for whatsapp then now this is the most important part this is we are going to enter the main message that can help you out in resolving this message that i can help you out in resolving your error or not so before i tell you the message you're going to type in i want you guys to give this video a thumbs up Give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel, and turn on the bell notification icon. Because, guys, this method I'm about to show you right now is definitely going to work for you. Yes, it has worked for people, and it's definitely going to work for you on my video right now. So, guys, have you done that? Have you done that? Also, I want you guys to just kindly go to the comment section and comment forgotten WhatsApp code. Yes, comment forgotten WhatsApp code. So, right now, let me go to my notes and copy the message because I've written it already for you guys. So, I'll just copy it copy then bring it back here and paste it so the message says hello whatsapp supports i forgot my whatsapp two step verification code and i need attach any email to it to retrieve the passcode during times like this please help me open my whatsapp as soon as possible here is the number this way you're going to put your country code and your number and now remember i said they should help you open the whatsapp as soon as possible so that they can even if a bot is going to go to the message first before you want those you need to tell them that you need this thing to be resolved urgently and once you're done you click on the next step over here and once you click on the next step within 24 to 48 hours whatsapp is going to send you a message and most likely they're going to help you resolve this problem you are facing yes they're most likely going to help you resolve it 
or if not they will also they send you a message or a mail this is why i actually put a mail here this mail here they will send you a mail there telling you how you can resolve it by yourself if it's left you to resolve it okay so guys this is how i can resolve this water to step verification code problem without email so guys this step i just showed right now is definitely to work for you to recover your whatsapp to step verification even if you don't have an email yes well however guys you need to put in email on your whatsapp so that this time this is not going to recall again yes and guys like i said in the of this video you know creating this two step verification code is very important to secure your WhatsApp. So if you're going to how to you know, secure your WhatsApp by using this two-step verification process, follow this method you're seeing on the screen right now. All right, guys, if you want to secure your WhatsApp, if you want to turn on the two-factor authentication security on your WhatsApp, you have to obviously go to your WhatsApp, okay? Then once you click on this tray icon over here, then click on settings. All right, now we are here. You can see there is account is privacy. So you have to go to account, this very first one, account. Then now it says here, Security notification, two step verification, change normal request info and delete account. You have to go to two step verification. Now, my two step is turned on. However, if yours is not turned on, you need to turn it on. And with this change, you can see that you have to add a pin. This is a six digit pin which they will frequently ask you of. Let's say after in the day, they ask you of it two times or once in a day so that they will ensure that yes, you are the user of this your WhatsApp. Okay, then you also have to put in your email address. Reason being that in case maybe let's say for example you misplace your pin, this email might be used to send a recovery pass and passcode for you at the moment until you change it. So once you turn all this in all, once you turn them all, that is the, both the password you put your pin and this email address. So if someone for example maybe send you a WhatsApp code which normally should hack your WhatsApp or maybe get access to your WhatsApp, it will ask them for this this pin, this six digit pin which only you know of. Which only you know, this is the reason why it is nice and advisable to turn on this two factor authentication code, this two factor verification, this two step verification on your WhatsApp. Okay, so guys, I'm going to be leaving my Facebook profile and other social media profiles. I want you guys to just go to the decision box below and go follow them all so you can all receive the smart online tips on all platforms we are in so guys i've shown you how you can reset this your whatsapp two-step verification code without an email problem yes and also showed you how to even secure your whatsapp using this two-step verification process and like i said do not forget to always add an email to your whatsapp you know in case you want to back it up or even get this code whenever you forget it and other reasons okay so guys i'm going to see you in my next video as we discover more ways we can solve social media problems See you guys.